Now that I've finished the ears, I'll go back to the eyes. And for the eyes, it's important to add in extra lines and creases. So right here, I'll be adding what are called crow's feet. They're little lines and wrinkles that radiate out from the edges of the eye. I'm doing them faint because in real life they're not necessarily that pronounced depending on the person but um, I do want you to be able to see it so um, hopefully you're able to see them here. Okay, And they're called crow's feet because they kind of branch out and they resemble the the foot of a bird. Okay. Under the eyes, I'll be adding additional arcs. Okay. These are wrinkles that appear as a person ages. And they often give the appearance that the person's tired because they're often dark. So the more you add, the older the person looks. But when you do yours, make sure you just do the lines very lightly and just make them concentric rings. You can also add them above as well. But I won't add too many. Additionally, there may be lines around here and here that you can add in. Okay. The eyebrows can be done, but often in older people, the hair is long but thin. After doing the eyebrows, I often just shade a bit of the area under it, above the eyes and below the eyebrow, just to show that the eyes are a little bit more sunken in. The neck can be drawn like we did for a woman, so measuring from the outside of the eye, you can draw a line. and two lines sort of lightly curved then you can uh, make a neck. At this point we've drawn a face but you can't really tell if it's a male or a female and that's really the whole point. When people get to a certain age it becomes more and more difficult to determine um, just based on their uh, facial features if it's a man or a woman and for this one, I'm going to make it a man, but uh, I'll give it a man's hairstyle. And um, maybe that will make a difference. So uh, right here, uh, remember this is the scalp. So I'm going to add kind of a horseshoe pattern hairstyle. This is very common, especially with older men. Okay, And as they age, they lose the hair on top, but they still have hair on the sides here. So now I've shaped it. I can add the hairs.
I'm going to leave the top of the head exposed. Since there's no hair, that egg shape actually becomes the top of the head. And I might draw in some loose strands of hair because sometimes people don't lose all their hair. They have a little bit left. Okay, on their forehead, I will add lines. On the forehead, I'll add these lines. These are wrinkles. Once you've got this far, all you really have to do are just add in the final touches. I'll add the wrinkles for the lips. I'll add some shading here. Maybe a little cleft right here. Darken the nostrils. On one side of the face, I'll add more shading uh, around the nose. Fix up the hair. Add some shading under the neck. And if this is a man, there still be a bit of an Adam's apple. And there you go, that's an elderly person. If I wanted to make this a woman, I would have probably added the hair that's missing on the top here, and maybe changed the hairstyle somewhat. Uh, but again, um, I just wanted to make a person that looked older, and I think I've accomplished that. But it's really up to you to decide um, how to make it more masculine or feminine um, to a degree, but you should be able to do something that looks like what I've done. So notice how different the elderly person looks compared to maybe the one that we did of the woman. Okay, There's quite a lot of significant difference and uh, as long as you're able to do uh, a person's face and age them, um, then you'll be fine. Thank you for watching and uh, now it's your chance to try it yourself.